Hi, um, my name is Ryan. I'm an apprentice quantity surveyor um, working for Balfour BT. Hi, my name's Lewis and I'm an apprentice quantity surveyor working for Balfour BT Vinci. I first heard this um, about three, four years ago, that was around 2018, and um, I was just fumbling around on LinkedIn, and that's when I came across an advert uh, for Balfour BT, which they were sort of introducing or basically talking about what apprenticeship an apprenticeship involved. And yeah, that's when I sort of got on board. Yeah, so I first heard about apprenticeships back in school when we had some apprentices come in and sort of interview everyone. Um, but then after sixth form and I'd finished my A-levels, I started looking into it and doing a bit of research and found quite a few um, opportunities and just went for them. So I chose to go for an apprenticeship because I thought it would be a good kickstart to my career because you get both the like experience from working in your job role as well as doing your university degree and it gets paid for. So it's an all-round benefit, really. Uh, I, like Lewis, um, I chose to uh, be an apprentice because it allows me the opportunity, opportunity to basically um, kill two beds uh, uh, with one stone. That is basically you get to uh, gain experience whilst working and also um, studying at uni. And also basically the, the idea that you also finish um, debt-free. So that's that's good. So I'll say my highlights um, since starting was basically being able to network and meet like-minded people and also um, being able to put into practice the theory, education or knowledge that I've been getting from university and also being able to achieve um, uh, the set goals that have been given to me or set by my managers. So the, the main highlights of my career so far have been really moving across the team sort of thing and learning loads of like new air like about new areas and like my role um and i've seen myself develop quite a lot as well as finishing my first year of university that was good um and then seeing the project develop as well i've been here about a year and a half or just over so it's quite good so i think i've overcome several challenges both in my role at work and at university. So for example, um, I was the first person on the sublot to be managing labor payments. And once I got a hold of that, I could also teach others to how to do it as well. Um, so it's a bit of a unique way of doing it here. Um, and then as well at university and like managing my university work and normal work, because sometimes you get quite a lot to do. So, uh, but I always managed to finish that as well. So. Yeah, I'll say um, challenges that I've sort of managed to achieve is basically as a person, I'm more of an introverted person. And um, uh, through my experience working here at Balfour PT, um, I've learned to open up and sort of network and get to know people. And also um, I've been able to sort of manage because I've just recently um, transferred from being a full-time student um, to an apprentice. And that um, getting into that uh, situation you know, when if you're a student, you are just used to studying and now being able to sort of work and study. I've also achieved, um, I've been able to work um, and study at the same time. So um, I think one thing I've learned about the industry since starting was basically that um, work hard pays and your efforts are recognized. I mean, when you're working in construction industry, you're basically working in an environment that changes the normal or natural environment. So I think that's one thing that I've realized about uh, working in the industry. One thing I've um, realized about working in the industry is just there's a lot to learn, um, but there's also a lot of great, like knowledgeable people out there that are willing to help. So just always don't be scared to ask for help and you'll always get the answers you're looking for. So, after my apprenticeship, I'd look towards getting a uh, chartered with a professional body because I think it'd give me the relevant qualifications to go for more senior roles. Um, but as well, I'd quite like to see my the project I'm currently working on through to the finish, however long that might be, and then maybe also working abroad at some point too. So I plan on um, getting my accreditation with REITs and also um, continue to grow within my role. And also, I would like to continue exploring all the opportunities that Balfour BT 
um, offers, be, be it um, pro other projects or, I mean, jobs in other areas? So I'm most passionate about learning about new processes and new things because I believe it can expand my knowledge um, and also that then helps my team and then I can also use that in university where I might be getting taught about something that I already have some understanding of. So it's quite useful. So I'm passionate about um, basically doing my job right and also being able to work collaboratively with um, people in my line of work and also just gaining um, new knowledge and being aware of all the new um, innovations or ideas that come about within my line of work. So I'm quite looking forward to seeing my project through to completion, but then also seeing that all the other projects as well, such as like Hinkley Point, um, but also new projects like the Lower Thames Crossing, um, anything like that really. So yeah, I'm looking forward to um, an in-house um, activity or event that we uh, that takes place basically every year, uh, which is the Commercial Away Day, and also um, looking forward to you know seeing this um, project go through to till finish. So yeah, I'll say yes um, because as somebody who had already researched before um, getting into an apprenticeship, I already knew. Um, sort of what um, I was getting myself into, but I would like to, uh, despite saying that, um, I'd like to appreciate um, BBV um, for the immense effort that uh, they do to provide us apprentices and new students um, a conducive environment that allows us to learn and gain experience. So I'm really grateful and thankful, thankful for that. So yeah, I think the apprenticeships offered me more than expected really. Um, because there's like constant opportunities for learning and development and training and within my company and then also universities quite good as well because you learn a lot more I thought it'd be quite tough but because you already do it in your day-to-day -day role it's not as hard as you might think it'd be um, so I, I think it's been quite good I think one of um the key um, misconceptions in my own experience is basically that when you tell people that you're curious or when people ask you what you do and then you tell them that, oh, I'm an apprentice, a uh, quantity surveyor, they happen to not know what a QS is. And also the, also the idea that most people just assume that, oh, QS is only focus on costs and manage costs, which is not really the, the of course it is the key thing, but we, there's also the low side of it as well. So. I think that those are my own misconceptions in my own experience. Yeah, I, I think it's the same really. But on top of that, more on the apprenticeship side, I think being an apprentice, people usually don't think you're capable of or, or as capable of doing a job or as knowledgeable, which, yeah, you might not be sometimes, but I think you'll find like a lot of the apprentices are still quite knowledgeable and are capable at doing what they do. and. Like my apprenticeship's a five-year apprenticeship, so it's a long way to go. But I think even after four years, that's just as much experience as a graduate with four years will have. Yeah. So quantity surveyor is sort of an industry professional in both like construction costs and like estimating as well as contract law, and it's all sort of merged into one. Um, so we're getting involved in quite a lot.